good Tuesday, July 24th. Oh shit, no, thir Thursday, July 24th. Well, something like that. I don't know, I only remember Saturdays and Wednesdays when my $1 lotto drop, BC lotto happens. Uh, okay, now let's, uh, let's just try and wrap this here. Boeing 777 business in Progi land there. Let's just try and wrap it up here. Um, <clears throat> you've had plenty of time to go over your computer logs to see that glitch there, uh, U.S. Missile Task Force in the Mediterranean Black Sea region at the time of the uh, plane downing. Um, and you've had enough time to have your space weather expert right, experts differentiate between a uh, EMP event that might have affected your electronics. Uh, certainly anyone in a 777, um, including laptops and shit like that. But I check evidence, like I told you guys, protect it all, cover it up <coughs> with plastic, keep it out of the elements, and you know, <coughs> take pictures of where everything is, and then start moving it if you have to, if you can't wait for chemical analysis crews. And... So. You see where I'm getting at there. Okay, I don't know. I didn't program it. I didn't program your 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 infrastructure. That is, uh, you've been hiring almost all of it out to various Israeli software tech firms, and then they get <coughs> they get to uh, pirate the software to whoever they want afterwards. And, well, we don't know how this all went obsolete, so anyhow, we won't go that far into it because our average listener has no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so, if it wasn't a natural <coughs> space weather event in the uh, ongoing multipoling process, uh, hint, hint about the Black Sea, um, um, <coughs> mainly because it's well mixed metallicity. Oh, we're gonna get the eagle. Maybe. And it wasn't like uh, Star Trek The Undiscovered Country where uh, <clears throat> one of those uh, two dolphin class super stealthy, stealthy uh, hydrogen cell submarines that we all somehow or another ended up buying Israel with our tax subsidies that were supposed to have been cut off years ago. Yet I guess they go through in whatever some sort of secret NATO backdoor or, or whatever. <clears throat> you in backdoor? <clears throat> so, if it wasn't a natural event and it wasn't a hacking or a Trojan or a Stuxnet thingy, in which case you can't trust any of your sensors. Uh, you fuck for all you know, you could have had a a missile that was put in there, uh, launched, without you knowing it in inventory because the record was hacked and covered over. For all you know, I'm just saying, I'm not saying at this point, because I don't want to out my <coughs> abilities to watch any more than I want out your ability to watch what's going on, or anyone's. It's not about creating military complex, industrial complex, planned obsolescence as we can tax the fuck out of everyone and buy more crap that we don't need. No, it's about maintaining mutually assured defense. Destruction. De 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 defense! Defense! Mutually assured deterrence. So, I'm not saying somebody fired off one of yours. I'm not saying one of those super stealthy Israeli missile cruisers that both of them were in the, the area. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not saying one of them 
launched from un underneath your ship, just in case anyone could detect. Uh, I'm not saying what electronic countermeasures were going on uh, by anyone at this point. Um, you guys settle on your lies and then out and then we'll come out with revealing what we have to about whose capabilities. Mine, yours, theirs, everyone's. Only to the level we have to. So let's not sacrifice existing mutually assured deterrent systems. Right? Uh, and um, coordinate everything with whatever kind of lies are being fed into the uh, black box recorder. Uh, Absolutely everything is suspect, as uh, Bill Hicks would say. I'll put that nifty tune in there. <clears throat> the shill song! The corporate shill song! Um, So there you go. Who, who knocked out the Shenandoah with those MK4 German torpedoes that were sold to Israel at one point that knocked out the uh, South Korean Shenandoah to try and start up a major fucking military industrial complex buying binge over the Korean thing. Well, fuck worked. Managed to suck the Japanese into buying some of those useless patriots and missiles and fuck everything else. Even though the gig before that and the gig before that it was the other half of the exact same military industrial complex that got the sales. You know, the white hats, or was it the black hats? Are you the white hats or the black hats? Well, I guess it. Right. I guess in between dosings, of, mass dosings of fluoride, you, you switch hats sometimes on the population and they just don't really notice it. <sighs> Time's ticking. Uh, what can I say? I mean, these things can trigger a nuclear war. Uh, if they're gonna go to that plan, they of course would do something like that in in the winter. So, you know, it would preserve all that frozen meat, that frozen soiling green, and. Um, solve a lot of problems with mass fires and shit that break out <clears throat> and add to nuclear winter which you know they want as short a one as possible they just want to in their crazy thinking wipe everyone out you know but that's when it would happen because how long are you going to live in the middle of winter in the north with no infrastructure eh? so we'll just leave that you know mainly the thing is, is they would be just as happy to keep escalating their gaping tax hole scams indefinitely and which is impossible it can't go any further everything's got to give and break down and well you know even without Ragnarok on our doorstep whether it is or not I don't know you you tell me what Sagittarius they had for lunch on a CG2 are we in the fourth wave Did the Grecian disc collapses I don't really think so. Is it a fourth lump of CG2 that we're feeling now on all this cosmic back pressure that's been fucking with the sun? Given where Jupiter is in relation to the astrophoric line of travel and the coordinates of the local interstellar cloud, which you know, that <coughs> lopping over onto the other side thingy, that large gravitational mass, and we'll just uh, leave that for your report. You all know to watch the space weather channels that have been recommended to you, and 
and you've been led to the series of videos that will help you understand if you're so inclined. I'm sure YouTube let some of it through. <coughs> to give it a leg to stand on. What? You better be thinking about your war reparations. So that's really why I turned this on. Y'all, not just Canadians, eh? They're now decked out with the Suncor Libya thing and whatever we were having our funds absconded into, into the Syria pre-invasion. The Ukrainian invasion, you know, with Harper running around cheerleading for the globalists. Okay, so uh, this is what we want to do to Ukraine, eh? Uh, what do you want out of it if, if you do this for us? Running around, cheerleading. Now we're gonna be just like the Americans with nobody to sell shit to. And all our shit owned by the globalists. So, what are you going to do for war reparations, y'all? My American, Romerican neighbors? You uh, failed to stop all the shit that's been happening since uh, this millennium began, and uh, you know, you, you, you allowed your tax dollars to spray depleted uranium completely needlessly all over Iraq. Fuck, you equipped the Israelis with it. Now the, not even the UN can, without strict criminal negligence and malfeasance, ignore the blinding evidence. I mean, it's worse than the fucking yurt. I'm not talking Fukushima. I'm talking depleted uranium ammunition that you fuckers sprayed all over. Desert Storm onwards, and we uh, if we helped with any of it, which we did, Britain, British sprayed some of that shit around Fallujah. Doesn't matter. You drove the fucking car to the fucking bank job. Didn't matter. You stayed in the car. You're fucking guilty of murder too. You killed that guard too. You helped it happen. Same fucking thing, Canadians. You sprayed that fucking depleted uranium all over. All over Iraq. You did with your tax dollar. You are a fucking murderer. Ignorance doesn't get you off. So what are you going to do about it? Those people need somewhere to live. They should have been evacuated immediately. Before it was even done and it never needed to be done. It was just an attempt to call their gene pool by introducing this horrendous profit making because that's all got to be treated. Genetic soul damage. Ruined their souls. Obliterated with nukes. Mutated DNA, soul gone. Just like we're doing here with breathing in Fukushima that we fucking sold Japan. Yeah. Yeah, the GE reactors. Where do you think the fucking fuel came from? Northern Saskatchewan? That's your liability, Canadian. These are the reparations we owe. What are you going to do about these people? You claimed fucking dominion? Now you fucking, you fucked with them? Now it's your fucking liability. That was your fucking tax dollar that enabled it? I don't care if it was some little fucking punk that was high on glue and beer that stole your car and ran over my horse and my family. You know, that's, what, that's exactly what this is. That was your fucking car. 
That's your fucking liability. I don't care that some kid stole it. You let that fucking kid steal it. That's your 100% liability. His liability aside. Now, you help the fucking Romericans march in there and needlessly blow the piss out of everything and spray depleted uranium all over. That's your fucking liability. Your criminal culpability. You have to treat those people. You have to clean up the land. You have to give them new land. Yeah, that means part of fucking Canada, part of Romerica, part of Britain, everybody that had their fucking hands in the bank job, you sprayed depleted uranium around there, and you ruined these people's lands, these people's genetics. You destroyed their fucking soul. Who do you think you are? What do you think you are? You fucking knowingly did it nonetheless. Because I fucking told you and you still do nothing. Other than... Whoa, okay, here's my contribution to continuing to do this. That's you. You got domain over nothing. But you better fucking get dominion over your fucking actions. You got a lot of fucking extinction coming your way, and nothing's gonna make it at this rate. Not the dom- the, the ones that d- deserve it, the dogs? None. Not the blades of grass, not the cannabis seeds. Not the tomatoes. Not the humans, not the cats. Not the chickens, nothing. Not the fungus, nothing. Nothing but maybe the few deeds that were reported and escaped. Escaped the gravity well to go out there and report to all the other species to warn about you fucking morons. You have so much potential and this is all you can do. Well, you know, it feels better. It makes us think less if we just... Meh, be apathetic. Meh. Meh. I don't want to go extinct. I believe I'll give it a second helping of, of a fantastic life. Because I've earned it. Look at how I've served the first life. Serving life destruction and apathy. Not, not my job.